hearing in the last video with the hands on experience we understood how to establish a vps vpc peering to enable a communication between different vms that are part of uh, different vpcs but again in the same project right but in this video let's understand how to enable communications between different vpcs that are part of two different projects all right fine so in continuation to that i'm going to use two different projects as like one is um means basically what we are going to achieve is uh, we have two different project right one is with learn gcp in english and on the other hand we have an other project named gcp new english train okay so uh, basically here in this project we don't have any custom network or a custom vpc we just have only the default one maybe i can show you vpc networks i'm sorry so if you see here this is the vpc the list of vpc networks that are part of this particular project okay i don't have any custom one i have only the default where else if i go here in this project um in the learn gcp in english if i go back to vpc networks i have uh, you know three different vpc one is a default and the other one is as you know we created in auto mode and this is the custom one all right so let's enable a vpc peering between this custom vpc network that is part of learn gcp in english project to a default vpc that is part of this gcp new english train project okay so that whenever i create or uh, when i create a new vm instance under this project it could connect to uh, here already we have a vm instance right so it could connect to the vm instance that is already part of a custom one vpc okay let me show you that so if i come to uh, compute engine if you see already i have one uh, yeah of course we have three but this my vm2 is part of custom custom vpc right so uh, that's fine let's go back here as i said we are not going to make any custom uh, vpc here let's make use of this default only that's not a, a problem okay i'll just go here let me create a compute engine or uh, vm instance that's under compute engine okay the first one is vm instance right just click create instance can give any name here i'll just name it as like vm1 okay you can give any name or you can just put vm new project it's up to you okay and um this one is there right mumbai right maybe i can have it anywhere okay i let it let me go with the central one i above only and um here micro all right i'll just click create because as we know that it will automatically take it from the default vpc only because it has only one vpc that is default so now as soon as this particular vm is live okay if we try to ping from this vm at this project to this vm in this project the communication will not happen because first of all they are two different vpc but again in different project itself not even within the same project right however uh, we have a solution to it we can uh, enable a communication between them and using the vpc peering all right so maybe just to show you i'll just do a search here and also let me go to vm2 click ssh here so both are loading let's wait for a few more seconds so it's asking for authorization let me authorize it at a time so left side is my this is the name of vm that's vm2 from learn gcp in english project okay this is the other vm that we have created in a new project which we never use it okay that's fine if i look at the ip address it's ip is 10.10.10.4 right so its ip it is 10.128.0.3 all right 
what i'll do let me try to ping 10.128.0.3 from here but i will never get any response until unless i create the vpc pairing between this pro two different projects and vpc okay the same let me try to ping 10.10.10.3 you know that i will never get a response unless until i create it right so as last time i'm just creating this one just to differentiate it okay to confirm that we have not received any response yet all right so let's minimize this for now let's go back let's create the vpc peering between this particular vpc that is part of this project towards this particular that's the default vpc that's part of this project okay so i'll just go here to my vpc network click here also in the other side in this project also i'll open it vpc network vpc network all right fine so now under vpc network let me open my vpc network pairing option okay actually i have deleted the other vpc pairings that we have created in the last video okay uh, just to avoid confusion i have just deleted it which we created right so it's a new new page now i'll just click create here see it's telling the project id you will need the following the project id if you're connecting to a vpc network in another project okay it's applicable now because we are basically trying to establish a connection between different projects or the vpcs that are part of different project right so where to get the project id maybe you can come here to the home page just click here okay so here it it would list all the available uh, project names right and at the right side you'd be seeing the project ids so i'll just come here and um, so learn gcp in english click continue i need to create a vpc pairing from here so vpc pairing you can give any name right i can tell it's from custom to default default of new project okay this is custom old project means when i say old project i'm referring to this one okay learn gcp or maybe for a better thing i'll just put learn okay anyway learn gcp here and what's the name it's uh, gcp new okay new gcp okay so basically what i'm trying to tell i'm going to establish a pairing between the custom vpc that is part of this particular project learn gcp in english to towards the default vpc that is part of new gcp english train okay all right so this is just a name you can have it any anything so so this side at uh, this project it is from custom network so i'm just selecting custom network so it's asking me whether it's a part of same project or a different project it's a different project i'm selecting this so in the last video we have selected only this we have not explored this but in this video or in this situation we should go for this right because it's basically two different projects okay so it's asking you for the project id okay it's asking you the project id of the peer or means the other side so now we are here right learn gcp in english we want to establish to this particular project so we need to take the project id of the new project that is gcp new english train right so this is the project id for it i'll just copy it and paste it here okay so it's asking okay you have given me the project id under this project to which vpc you want to connect i'm telling to default okay that's it just click create So it would take few seconds to create as like last time this is the name and uh, you know this is from the custom network of this project to the default network or the default vpc of the other project so it's telling what's the peered project id means the other side the other project peered so this is the project id of it and as you know it will be in the inactive state unless until we create a return right return traffic okay
I'll just create one more. Continue and the name is okay. VPC peering VPC peering. Um okay, last time we used this one, right? So what I'll do, I'll just take this one. Okay. It makes sense. VPC peering from default VPC. That's part of new CGP. Okay. Actually, I'm supposed to create this from this side. Uh, means there's a small mistake here. Uh, uh, means if you remember in the last time, as we have, uh, we are establishing a peering for the, for between different VPCs that are part of same project, we have created this place itself. But in this uh, scenario, Basically, we are trying to establish it between two different projects, right? So that for this project, we have defined, right? From the from the custom VPC of this project towards the default VPC of the other project we have defined. Now, instead of creating a one more thing at same place here, we should go to the other project. There, you just click the VPC network peering, okay? So this time we should create it from the other project, okay? Continue and here I put VPC peering from default VPC of where? Of new GCP, right? So new GCP means basically this one, this uh, project to custom VPC of learn GCP project. Okay, so this is my naming convention. Okay. So now we need to define which is the VPC at this side. This is the default, right? Fine. And I should select this as you know, because it's basically two different project. So I need to give the project ID of the peer project. Okay. So now we are at learn means the new project, right? Here we should give the project ID of the other project, which is nothing but learn GCP in English. Okay. I'll just go here. Now learn GCP in English, right? So this is my project ID. I'll just copy it and I'm just giving it. So we need to be very cautious means when you're giving the project ID, ensure that you are in the other side, okay? And always you need to give the project ID of the peer project, not the same project itself. So here I need to give the name, right? The peer projects under this peer project, this is the VPC that I want to connect. That's it. So once we create it, you would be seeing that this inactive would get active shortly. So the creation is in progress. Let's wait for a few more seconds. So as soon as it's done, we would be seeing that it, it's coming as active and green in color. Let me try to refresh. See, now, now it, it's active, right? As soon as I refreshed, uh, let me refresh here as well. See, it's, it's at active. Now, if I open that, uh, you know, the last session where we tried to ping and we didn't get a response, we would be seeing that communication is happening. It means basically, the we'll be getting a response for all the requested setting. Uh, as I accidentally closed my last browsers, I have opened a new browser. Uh, means uh, opened a new SSL session towards that. Uh, if you see here, this is, again, I'll show you. Um, so this is the IP address, right? This is the IP address of the VM that we have created here means this one okay so vm2 all right and uh the other side for this one it's 10 128 0.3 right okay maybe i'll just put show ip address and if you see 128 0.3 last time if you remember when we try to ping uh, from here towards this one it was not happening basically it's because of it's different vpc again it's part of different project itself but now this time it would ping see we are getting a response because we have enabled the vpc peering between uh, different projects again different vpcs right so 10 10 10 4 this side right 10 10 10 4 see now communication is established so this is how vpc helps us to establish a straightforward connectivity and make the uh, network simple and secured all right so this is all about ppc peering